If you need to up-res your footage and simply scale it up, chances are it's not going to look great. Thankfully, there are quite a few AI video tools out there that allow you to up-res your video footage and retain those details. In this video, I'm going to talk about a few of the options available to you, and we'll compare each one to figure out the best option for you as a video creator. Let's get to it. For our example, we will use this scene here. The entire scene is in about 720p, so pretty small resolution, but we want to upscale it to 4K. So you can see here we have a wide variety of shots, an establishing shot, medium shot, and then a close-up. Let's see how the tools do. So the first tool that I think you should know about is called CapCut. While a lot of people know that CapCut can be on your phone, you may not realize that CapCut actually can work on a desktop computer. And the best part is you can actually use the software online as well. CapCut is super easy to use. All you have to do is go to the upload button and upload your file. I have ours already uploaded right here. We'll just double click on it. And when you're ready to export it in a higher resolution, you don't have to apply any effect or anything like that. All you have to do is go to export, download, and then you can select the resolution that you want to export it as. So for our example, we will scroll down to 4K and we'll change the quality from recommended quality to high quality. You want maximum quality from your export. And for the format, we're going to select MOV. That's a less compressed format, so you'll get maximum resolution. And when you're ready, go ahead and click export. So here's a comparison of the original and then the cap cut version on the left. I went ahead and zoomed in so you can see the differences between the two clips. And as you can see, even though we exported the cap cut clip in 4K, it's not doing a great job at getting us really nice details. It still feels pretty low quality. So generally speaking, the upreser inside of CapCut is not my favorite. The next tool we're going to take a look at is Krea. Krea is an online platform that has a lot of really helpful AI tools, including having the ability to upres footage. To use Krea to upres your footage, just go to their website and scroll down and click on the enhance button. And you can simply drag and drop your video clips into the timeline. I should note that video clips are limited to five seconds long. So you will have to upload your individual clips one at a time. We'll go ahead and drag and drop that into Krea. And on the right here, you'll see we have upscaling factors. So we're going to go ahead and select 1.5. Unfortunately, that is the current limitation of using Korea. You can't go beyond 1.5. And then for frame rate, you'll also see we only have 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and 120, but our core video footage is in 24 frames per second. So that's not ideal if you're working in a filmmaking context. So when you're ready, go ahead and click enhance. So here's the result here. We have Korea on the left and the original footage on the right. And honestly, I think Korea did a worse job than simply scaling up the footage. So when it comes to enhancing footage, I don't think that Korea does a great job. The next tool that we're going to talk about is the upresing feature available directly inside of Runway. So after you've created a video clip using Runway, you actually now have the ability to upscale the video to 4K. All you have to do is go down to the Actions menu and select Upscale to 4K. It takes just a couple of minutes and then you can download the video footage directly to your computer. Here's a before and after with Runway on the left and the original on the right. And you would see that Runway did a really good job. There's tons of extra detail and fidelity in the up footage, especially if we take a look here at that first establishing shot. The walls look really good. Obviously, there's some strange stair stepping here on this, this building, but that was just really deep in the original video footage. So it's doing the best it can there. There's a lot more resolution in this detail here on the building. And then moving on to the shot of the soldier, you can see we have a lot of pixelation going on in the helmet, whereas over here, it's much more smooth, sharp around the edges, and it just generally looks better. And then finally, if we look at this shot here, much more detail in the hair, the uh, skin has a lot more detail, 
versus the original, it's just kind of just very blurry and doesn't look that great. The big downside to using Runway is, of course, the fact that you have to use Runway to generate the video footage. So if you didn't generate the AI footage directly inside of Runway, it's honestly not that helpful. And that brings us to our final way to up-res your footage. This is my favorite way to up-res footage, and it has a ton of customizable options to allow you to get maximum quality from the tool. And I am, of course, talking about Topaz Video AI. Topaz Video has a version that works in the cloud, and basically you can pay for credits but they also have a version that works directly on your computer. You basically download the application to your machine and you can up the video locally. So you buy one license of the software and then you basically just have access to it forever. So in order to use Topaz, all you have to do is drag and drop your video clip here. So we have our clip loaded into Topaz and you can select your output. They have tons of presets here and then you also have the ability to set a custom resolution if you have a specific aspect ratio or resolution that you're going for. And under the AI model section, you have the ability to select all sorts of AI models depending on what type of video footage you inputted. The Proteus model, which is the default model, tends to work the best but you do have a lot of other good options here. I really like working with the Thea model, but it can be pretty intense on your computer. Now, you also have the ability to change the frame rate. You can change the frame interpolation and basically slow down the video footage if you wanted to. And those features work really well, but for our example, we're just going to export it as it is. So here's a quick comparison from Topaz. Again, Topaz on the left, original on the right. And you can see we have a ton of resolution here. It looks really, really nice, especially this last shot here. You can see there's a lot of detail in the hair. There's a lot of detail in the skin, and it just looks much more sharp than the original footage, which has a ton of resolution issues. So the cool thing about using Topaz is the fact that you can bring in any type of video clip. It doesn't have to be a clip that was generated in a specific tool, whether you shot a wedding and you're looking to up -res it, or if you legitimately are trying to go through an old archive and up -res footage to use in a documentary, you have the ability to up -res using all sorts of really awesome features using Topaz. So let's take a quick look at a comparison here. We have Korea in the top left, Cap cut top right, runway in the bottom left, and then topaz in the bottom right. And you can see that very clearly runway and topaz are kind of in a league of their own. The resolution just looks so much better. There's tons of fidelity there. And the cool thing about topaz specifically is I feel like it doesn't over sharpen the footage. Inside of runway, sometimes it can feel like it's adding a little too much sharpness at the cost of cinematic quality. Whereas with Topaz, it still understands lens dynamics and is able to up the footage in a more natural way. Now, if you wanna learn more about advanced AI filmmaking techniques, I highly recommend checking out our AI filmmaking courses over at Curious Refuge. We actually train artists at every major studio and we would love to have you inside of the program. Courses start up every single month, so be sure to click the link below if you want to learn more, but absolutely no pressure at all. We also have a weekly newsletter that we send out with the latest AI filmmaking news that you need to know. You can subscribe by visiting Curious Refuge and clicking that blue button in the top right corner. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.